So Saturn has company big time, apparently. Astronomers say they discovered a planet with a ring system believed to be 200 times larger than the one around Saturn. Corey Powell, editor-at-large, Discover Magazine. Saturn's jealous today. How are you, Corey? Good morning. I'm good. I'm, good. Um, I'm in that mind-blown kind of stage. I got you right yeah. on. Be before we get to why it matters, because I'm very curious to know that, what did they find precisely? So the, the picture that you just saw of that ring system, they didn't see it directly. What they actually saw is the, the, they saw a starlight shining through it, and they watched the light flickering as if you were like shining a flashlight from behind a tree, and you figured out the shape of the branches from the flickering of the flashlight. Mm -hmm. They saw the flickering of the star, and the flickering of the star let them actually figure out this planet is, like I said, two, you know, the ring system is 200 times the size of Saturn's rings. It has 37 rings around this That's planet. That's just staggering. It's crazy. Oh, my. Now, why does it matter, Corey? Well, so what you're seeing here is this is a planet around a star that's a lot like the sun, but very, very young. This, this is like a baby version of our solar system. What you're seeing here is kind of what was going on right here on Earth, right around the other planets, four and a half billion years ago. So you're, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is not just giant Saturn, this is giant baby Saturn. And those gaps in the rings are places where moons are forming, or probably, you know, they, it, those, the stuff in the rings is coming together and making little satellites around that planet, and by little, we're talking about something so big here, those little satellites might be the size of Mars or the size of Earth. Well, it's unbelievable. When you talk about gaps, are you talking about the, the dark section or the, the section that actually reflects light? Right. So the spaces between the rings, the plate where, it's, where it's empty, something is clearing it out. And the something is probably new satellites or new like mini planets that are forming there. Okay. So we're seeing all this in okay. action. So bring it home again. You're saying that Earth used to have a ring? Well, so... The moon probably formed out of a ring like that around the Earth. Uh, what we're seeing here is the same kind of thing happening far away. This is, this is telling us what kind of planets are out there, wh how those planets form. And if you're looking for life elsewhere in the universe, you know, maybe you're looking for not just a, a planet like Earth, maybe you're looking for a giant moon around in a giant ring system like this. Uh, we're just starting to realize how weird and how extensive the things well, out there are. And we're able to see deeper and deeper, too. This Absolutely. is fascinate you. I, we saw it and we're like, whoa, uh, wow, check that out. Yeah, and the fact that, you know, that, that illustration that you're seeing, this is not just somebody's imagination. This is based on a direct reading of all the data. And it's something, you know, b backyard amateurs with little telescopes can actually watch this star, watch it flicker, and help the astronomers figure out Phenomenal. what this planet is all about. Thank you, Corey. It's good incredible. To, good to see you again. Corey yes. Powell. Thanks. Martha.